Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome to your new EFT tapping video with me, Ellie, the founder of Big Sister, and a trained and certified EFT tapping practitioner. Today's topic is super important, super close to my heart. Anyone who has worked with me one-on-one -on -one knows that I believe forgiveness is the key to all growth, all evolution, all healing, whether it's forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else. So this request came from my community here, and the request is to for me to make an EFT tapping video around healing and forgiveness. So that's what we're going to tap on today. If you're here looking for that, if you've got someone living rent-free in your head and in your heart, you are in the right place. Even if you are brand new to tapping, I'm going to make this super simple, super easy for you to follow along. And if you're in a place where you cannot say things out loud, you are welcome to just say them in your head. If you can, please tap on your physical body. If you can't, I actually recently got a comment and this person made a really great point. Tapping can also work if you imagine yourself tapping on these different points of your body in your head. So if you just don't have the ability right now, but you really feel like you need that relief, uh, and yes, I am sitting on the ground. Uh, I am in <laughs> where I'm staying in the Portuguese Azores right now. I'm on an island and uh, things are a little bit crazy and I'm in a new place. Um, where was I? Yes, if you can, say it out loud with me, repeat after me. If you can't, come back, save this video, come back to it later, And but for the time being, you're welcome to keep following along. It's super important that you stick with me for the whole video, why? Because in the beginning parts, we are tapping on what is feeling difficult. We're tapping on the negativity. We're tapping on what's holding us down, what's holding us back. We're tapping on those difficult, negative, tough, heavy emotions. The reason we're doing that is because when you're able to release them from the energy system, you're going to have space to receive the truth, the affirmations, the, the truth of who you are, the truth of the situation. And so if you want to get to that good stuff that'll help you actually move forward in your life, we've got to tap first on the tough stuff and then stick with me and we'll tap on the rest and on the positivity that we want, okay? So now ask yourself on a scale from one to 10, how blank do you feel? How angry, how frustrated, how sad, how heartbroken, how unhealed, that might be a good way to summarize it, do you feel right now? 10 being, it is so fresh, it is so raw and you're really struggling. One is you're doing okay. And then we will begin, repeat after me. I will try to go nice and slow. Side of the hand first. And you're tapping about a little bit harder than you would tap a stranger at a concert to get them to move a little bit. So even though I'm struggling to forgive right now, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm still healing, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm still struggling with this, I deeply and completely love and forgive myself. Now we're gonna tap inside of the eyebrows. And I just like to use both hands. That's how I do it. You can always use one if you prefer. Deep breaths. Just honoring what comes up for you. And continue to repeat after me. I feel like I should forgive, but I can't. I'm 
I'm feeling all this pain. I'm feeling the sorrow and heartache. anger and sadness. <sighs> I'm sick of these wounds. I'm afraid they'll never heal. I know I should forgive, but what if I can't? <sighs> Maybe I can allow myself to feel the way I feel right now. To let it be okay. to allow forgiveness to happen when it's time. And in the meantime, I'll focus on loving me. On healing myself. I'll take the light I shine out to others and turn it toward myself. Because I deeply love myself even in this pain. even in those places where it feels hard to forgive, hard to heal. Because I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Now, deep breath. And ask yourself on a scale from one to 10, where are those negative emotions now? You should be at a three or below. You might be pretty amazed that that number has changed if it's your first time tapping with me. If your number is a three or below, we're going to continue on to the affirmations. If your number is at a four or above, that's totally okay. I say you should be, but all that means is you have to keep tapping on these difficulties. It's possible. I just didn't touch on exactly that feeling that you have, that conflict that's within you. And all you need to do is go back, rewind, tap with me on the difficulties. Feel free to add your own phrases. Notice what memories come up and feel the feelings in your body. We are feeling those feelings as they're on the way out. So if anything feels overwhelming, just know that if you're able to be present with it, it's on its way out. It's on its way to being released. Okay, so now let's begin on those affirmations, okay? So continuing right here. I deserve a healthy, happy life. It is possible for me to live fully healed. And it is possible for me to let go of everything that's not serving me. It might take me some time to forgive, to let go. And that's okay because I've got my back. 
and I will take care of myself all along the way. I am worthy of complete healing. In fact, inner and outer healing is my destiny. Because when I am healed, I'm shining that light for the world. I'm so grateful I get to shine my light even when I'm not totally healed yet. I'm so grateful I can move on with my life even if I haven't 100% forgiven everyone. because I deserve wholeness. Love and compassion. I deserve to be treated so well. And by treating myself exactly how I would want others to treat me. I'm creating space for better experiences and relationships in the future. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Take a deep breath. Check in with how you feel. Hopefully you feel amazing. If you loved this video, please hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your numbers were. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I'm always taking requests, so you're also welcome to comment with any requests that you have. And I can't wait to tap with you again soon. Bye.